G'day viewers, today I'm going to work on our old main lounge room slash family living room TV. It's a Panasonic 68cm built, built in Sydney, Australia. And every part's made in Japan except the tube, which is made by Beijing Matsushita Color CAT, K Limited China, made in China obviously. And now that's where the Panasonic Vieras are made. These TVs were built here in Australia right up until sometime in 2006 when they shut the factory down because I somehow didn't want to assemble Vieras here anymore. So yeah, there's a the front of it. It's got the little jaw that pops out the bottom. You press this and it pops out. There's all your controls. Nice big heavy tube. The tube itself weighs about 50 kilos. And yeah, just going over it. Blow the dust out. Resealed the um, speaker compartment because it was rattling. Just take silicon. It's actually a, a, a woofer, and in front of that woofer is a tweeter or a mid range. So, yeah, they're both the same setup. Pretty good speakers made in Japan. High powered, too. It's got a very good, um, uh, very solid build. This TV, heavy gauge wire for the yoke and everything. Now, just this little joint here, as you can see, if I wobble it, if I hold a torch, if I wobble this little transistor. The camera will focus. Yeah, yeah, that little leg there is wobbling. I can't get a good focus on the camera though. Yeah, I can't get a good focus on yeah, that little there's a little leg there that's come loose. As you can see here. Yeah, that bottom left leg's come loose. The camera can't pick it up, but it was cracked, so when I tapped the TV up here, I tapped it, the picture would um, break up intermittently. As if there was a um, bad connection in the vertical somewhere. But yeah, this is the only dry joint I found. So I'm going to fix that. Got the soldering iron all warmed up. I'm going to fix that joint and we'll see what the pitch is like. Hopefully that, that will be fixed. There's another joint there that's starting to dry. I'll probably go over that with a soldering iron. Yeah, that's the only thing I found wrong with it, just dry joints. Everything else is in good nick. So all Japanese made capacitors, match a shed of capacitors, everything. The whole thing is built by Panasonic. Very well made. Yeah, they've locked the adjustments up. You don't need to touch them, so... I don't know what brand the flyback is. I'm trying to find where the brand name of it is. Don't know. Made in Malaysia. Yeah, okay, that's not Japanese made then. Yeah, anyway, that must come off, that unplugged separately, that's good, so it's easy to replace it. Yeah, we've got S-Video connections, uh, monitor out, AV1, AV3 and AV2 is at the front. Yeah, there's a big audio IC, it's pretty powerful. Filter board, yeah. I'll get the soldering on and I'll heat this up and melt that down, solder it on and look for any other dry joints and we'll power it up and see if you've improved it. Okay, I'll well, we do that. Let's stop the camera. Okay, the oil this transistor has been resoldered. The collector leg, the top one, the collector was right, but the um, base was one I was um, just soldered. That was just sitting there. And that other one next to it on the bottom is a mirror. And now that the holes are way too big. So it's a, the legs are too thin for those holes in the board. So I had to re-flow them all, fill it up com completely with a fresh batch of solder, get it to stick properly. So that's a pretty good connection now, so i fix that. I've got a slight crack in this one. I've got to look carefully and just fix up any slight cracks in these joints. Then when I, now and there, once I've done that, if I tap the TV, there shouldn't be any um, interruptions in the picture. So yeah, it's just, just age related. I think it's... Uh, made, this is a 1996 model TV, yeah, underneath this main board's alright, so, oh yeah, the model is, um, the one up, this TV, comes with its own cabinet and everything, so yeah, we bought 1996 and it was used nearly all day, every day, then it was used in the kitchen, then, um, till recently, we upgraded to a 32 inch LCD, so yeah, that's still a normal TV by the way, Japanese made panel, all decent parts, so yeah. I'll fix these up, 
go careful, have a look for any more, and I'll do a test and I'll show you. Okay, the soldering's all done. You can't really see in this camera, but yeah, all the main transistors on that neck board and the gun pin connections have all been touched up. And I've checked the vertical out, and that's all clean. All the, every little major little component that likely they get hot, you check. Because if they've got poor solder joints on them, chances are you'll have cracks. Yeah, yeah, see, that's how you tell for something like that, for example, which had a cracked or didn't have enough solder on the um, base pin of that transistor, transistor. As it got hot, the solder just got weak and cracked and didn't conduct properly. So when I tap the TV, it would intermittently play up. So now we've got to fix that with a bit more solder on it. And yeah, okay, have yours, it's all back, put back together. I'm going to turn it on. This is a universal remote. has all your TV, VCR, DVD settings. You can change any code. It's a manual and got a uh, self manual in here. has all the codes. TV is on. doesn't have a majority in the upper house. Okay, yep. Anyway. Check so box is on. Sort of so hopefully if I tap it. Oh, well, that wasn't the problem. That's what it was doing before. So if I tap it, the screen just... Intermittently breaks up. You have no predictability in policy. And yeah, so like that. So that net board wasn't a problem, but even though I fixed it, there must be somewhere else on the circuit board the problem exists. But yeah, at least it's um stopped anything else from uh, any further damage happening. Yeah. So most probably, maybe somewhere on that little vertical out I see or something, there's something tiny. So I'm only tapping it gently, and the picture still breaks up. But it's not as bad as it was before though, so yeah. Oh well. Unless I fix it, unless I fix most of the um, problem up. The box off. Okay, well, yeah. That's how you can fix dry joints in your TV. Yeah, I'll probably, I probably won't do the rest of the um, dry joints today. I'll probably do it another day. I have to make up a nice table to lay this on its screen. Lay it flat on its tube, on a nice soft surface like a towel or something. Get a magnifying glass and search finally underneath the board for any tiny dry joints that might exist. Because you may not be able to see them with your normal eye. So yeah, Let's try and fix those one day. We'll do it on a test. So yeah, thanks for watching.